Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Please file all the reports for me. Okay. Would you like to file them according to dates? Yes. Will you also make copies and file them using both methods? Yes, I will. Good. Can you please also list all the documents in those old files? When do you expect it to be finished? Before next Friday. All right. Is this American Airlines? Yes, sir. My name is Ellen. How may I help you? I need to get a flight to Chicago on the 7th in the morning. Can you give me a hand? Certainly, sir. There's a flight at 8.35 a.m. and one at 10. What's wrong, Lisa? You keep pacing back and forth. I'm nervous. I have to make a big presentation in the meeting. Don't worry. You'll do fine. What is the scale of the company? It is a large-scale business, which has more than 2,000 staff. How many subsidiaries do you have? There are over 20 subsidiaries around the world. Hello, is this Anne? Yes, it is. Kelly? Yes, it's me. Do you have a cold? No, worse than that. I have a flu. I'm in bed with a fever. Oh, no. What about your presentation today? I'd like to do it, of course. But I just can't. I'm afraid I'd fall down in the middle of it. I understand. What should I tell Mr. Morley? Why not just tell him I'm sick? I'll ring him myself this afternoon. All right. Have you been to see a doctor? Not yet. I feel too lousy to go out. Anyway, I have a flu. I know what it is. I don't need a doctor to tell me that. Do you think you'll be able to come in tomorrow? Or should I call off your appointments for tomorrow too? I'm not sure yet. Maybe this will all be gone in a day. So it's probably better if you don't call off my appointments. I will call you later this afternoon and tell you what I think. It's rainy weather today. Maybe it's better if you just stay inside. Make yourself some chicken soup and sleep. Yes, that's what I plan to do. Except I won't make the chicken soup. Right now I don't think I could swallow more than a spoonful of it. That bad, huh? Yeah, I'm very nauseous. It's mostly nausea and a fever. Well, I'll cancel your appointments for today. And I'll tell Mr. Morley. Thanks, Anne. Talk to you this afternoon. Hope you feel better. How do I submit an expense report? You need all your receipts for reimbursement. You mean I have to attach the receipts with the expense report? Yes, here is the form for an expense report. Fill it out and give it to me. I'll get it signed for you. When the interview finally comes to an end, the interviewee will probably breathe a sigh of relief. Still, you should not let down your guard. Some details should be paid attention to. At this moment you can thank the interviewer again for the opportunity of the interview. You can also ask the interviewer about your performance today. Don't forget to ask when you can receive a reply. And it's best to ask about the second interview if necessary. 
you should state politely that you will wait for the results patiently. You can ask questions about the position you are applying for. In this case, you should remember to give thanks for the reply you get. Of course. Just say goodbye to the interviewer before you leave. Besides, remember to make acknowledgments through an email or a call. Hello. I am Richard from the Brooks Head Hunter Company. Can I have a private talk with you? R. I am driving right now. Can you call back in 30 minutes? Sure. Hi. Monica. Richard again. Have you ever heard about our company? It is an international one with good reputation. We have a lot of successful cases. If you're trying to advance your career, I would love to help you. XYZ Company is one of our clients. They're in need of the talent like you. Would you be interested in taking part in an interview? It is scheduled some time within this week. Thank you for calling. I really appreciate your kindness. But right now, I'm very busy preparing for an interview of another company. I don't think I am available for this opportunity. Okay, I see. Good luck to you. You have my number. Call me when you change your mind. I can send you more detailed information about our company and jobs you might be interested in if you give me your private email address. Well, I will text it to you. Thank you. Bye for now. You're welcome. Bye. The negotiation of the price has taken us a long time. I hope the following negotiation about quality will be quicker. I think so, too. Our only request is that the quality is in conformity with the contract stipulations. Don't worry. Our quality is based solely on our sales samples. But what will you do if the goods we receive are not standard? We are sure to responsible to replace the defective ones. That's great. What kind of packing do you plan to use for this consignment of goods? Cartons. Is that okay? I'm concerned about the possible jolting, squeezing and collision that may take place when these cases are moved about. Well, what I can tell you is this. We've got an excellent record on making deliveries to our customers. Besides, all our cartons are lined with shockproof cardboards and are wrapped up with polyethylene sheets. So they're not only shockproof but also dampproof. In that case, I guess I can rest assured. Well, I guess you can say that. The safety of packing is something we always pay a lot of attention to. Especially for those fragile commodities, we've got to be extra careful. Otherwise, if the things we don't want to see happened, we would be responsible and that'll cause you a lot of inconvenience, too. You're right. But wouldn't it be safer to use wooden cases? We sure can if you want us to, but the charge will be much higher. It wouldn't be worth the trouble in that case, would it? Let's still use cartons. Sure, no problem. As I said, cartons are good enough for goods like this. You don't have to worry about it. Do you have any work experience in this field? Yes. After my graduation from university, I worked as a customer service coordinator in a foreign representative office, and then I transferred to a joint venture as a market development manager. So I am familiar with the market in China. What have you learned from the jobs you have had? I learned to be patient when dealing with customers' complaints and try my best to solve them. In addition, I learned at my previous jobs how to cooperate with my colleagues. 
Does your current employer know you are looking for another job? No, I haven't discussed my leaving plans with my current employer, but I am sure he will release me. What is your impression of your present company? Very good. What would your current colleagues say about you? They would say I'm a dependable and hard worker. What is your long term goal in this career? My long term goal is to become an expert in this field. What would you do to achieve that? In order to achieve that objective, I would work step by step and make further study. Could you call Mr. Jacob for me, Sarah? I need to go over some stuff with him. Of course, Mr. Roberts. But, could you tell me his extension number again? I haven't got all the numbers down yet. Sure. It's 4872. Don't worry. You're doing a fine job. Thank you very much, Mr. Roberts. Hello. I wish to speak to Mr. John. This is he speaking. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Zhang? This is Mary speaking. I have a present for you from Wu of Beijing. Oh, thank you. Mr. Wu had told me that you were coming to Chongchun. May I call on you at your hotel tomorrow? Yes, it's all right. Shall we say two in the afternoon? Great. Then I'll be at your hotel at two. All right. How could I get there? The hotel is near to People's Square. Its name is Baiju Hotel. What's your room number? It's room 302 on the third floor. But I'll be waiting for you in the lobby. If you can't find me, please page me. I'll do that, Mr. Zhang. See you tomorrow. See you. Could you copy this document for me? It's my pleasure. How many copies would you want? A hundred and fifty. No, wait. Make that a hundred and sixty. Yes, sir. Will there be anything else? No, thank you. That will be all for now. Your document will be ready in about ten minutes. Do you have a free moment? Sure. What do you need? I'm having some trouble. How do you use this printer? Well, first you have to turn this switch on. Silly me. Now press this button. Oh, and it's out of paper. Do you have any more? Just a second. I'll go get some. I heard that Ed has special services to help me get a job. Callus is a great internet-based placement service that is available to you. I don't have access to a computer. There is an area at the Ed Center that is set up with computers for you to make use of. Is there anything else at the Ed offices to help me with my job search? We can provide you with information that will help you understand what is available. We also provide workshops. If I go to Ed in person, what type of workshops might I find there? Our two most important workshops are resume writing and interviewing. What are some other places where I might look for work? Job fairs are popular places to look for work. In foreign trade, exporters have to adjust their product in a timely manner. How to adjust? Exporters must ensure that their product satisfies customers' needs, wants and likes. Ah, 
Some products are successful at home, but not be popular overseas. That's because the fashion, taste and social customs and so on vary considerably. Yes, sometimes the differences are great. Well, we should be in accordance with national conditions and adjust the product. We have to ensure that the product should be attractive to guarantee sales. What kind of job do you think I should get? It all depends on what you want to accomplish in your life. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.